All right, gang, I'm going to show you guys how to make some cookie cutters with Tinkercad today so we can 3D print them for the holiday season. So uh, I'm going to first show you some of the ones we've already created. Uh, these are on the Full Steam Ahead FL account. Um, there's, there's quite a few other ones that people created too. These are the ones, uh, the examples that I found or put together. Here's a pie cookie cutter right there, because why not? There's a star cookie cutter. Here's a F-16 cookie cutter. The shark one was one of the more difficult ones. Ice cream cone and kind of a not so good cat. That's my variation of it. But let me show you how we made these. I'm going to go back to a different screen and I'll show you three different methods for making some cookie cutters. So the first method um, is going to be just to really outline the shape that you need using really thin boxes and really thin cylinders, or actually even really thin tubes work better for this application. So um, let's say I wanted to just do a an R. That's the first letter of my first name. So I'm going to do a big R cookie cutter. Um, I'm going to shrink these down to about one millimeter. Um, that's, that's about the width that we want for our cookie cutter to be strong enough. It can be a little bit bigger too, maybe 1.5 or even 2. Um, it kind of depends. So let's do 2 just to make it easier to see. Make it nice and long. Let's do another one of those. Shrink it down to 2 millimeters. There's going to be the bottom of my R. And you can see I'm just going to go piece by piece here, just outlining uh, the shape that I want here. Um, I can save some time by duplicating. Moving that over a little bit. Make sure there's enough space for my cookie to actually be made on the inside there. Shrink that. Duplicate that. Oh, use a little predictive duplicate. Um, we're going to do that. We're going to rotate it. Something along those lines. Another one of these guys. Duplicate it. Put the copy right on top of the old one. And same thing here, let's duplicate this one. We're going to need about the same piece. And you can see I'm just kind of making the outline of this cookie shape here. Um, all right, now I'm going to need a nice big semi-circle there. I'm probably going to need a little bit of one of these up at the top too. So, All right, so let's go for this big semi-circle. So I'm actually going to use the, the tube tool down here. One cool thing about the tube tool is actually you can set the thickness right here. So the rest of it's 2, so I'm going to change this. This is 2.5 right now. I'm just going to change it to 2. So there we go. Now it's the same thickness. And I'm just going to cut this in half because I don't need the whole thing. So we're going to do it right about, well, these the arrow keys. Now if I group these two together, there we go. So I've got that. I can make it quite a bit bigger. Now if I do this, it's actually going to make make it bigger than two. So I guess I shouldn't do that yet here. Let's undo a little bit here. And let's make this bigger first. There we go. That's what we need to do. So we're going to get this approximately to the right size here. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty good right there. I'm just going to cut this here all the way to down there. Might need to do another little cut here in just a second too. But I'll group these two together. And this is going to end up being taller. Oops, wrong one. Taller. And then I can just extend this one a little bit. Move this guy down a little bit, and I'm just going to trim this little edge here as well. Group it together with this one. I'm holding shift and clicking, or you can just drag the box around them too. That works as well. Okay, group it all together. I've got my R. I just kind of outline the shapes, and that'll work. A little imperfect, but that's okay. I can even do a little R on the inside, or do the little hole on the inside too using the exact same thing. So here we go. Do, do, do. Let's get it to two. And it's not going to need to be much bigger than that, only a little bit bigger. Let's try 12. 
Perfect. Ish. And we'll need to cut that in half as well, so we'll use a box to cut it in half. There we go. Okay, so there's an obvious problem here with this. Um, well, maybe not so obvious, but when I print this, um, this little piece in the middle is just going to kind of go away. It's not going to be attached to the rest of it. So I'm really going to need to um, attach this little hole in the middle to the rest of it. And there's a few different ways I could do that. I could just do that with a box like this. I'll make it, uh, I don't know, about two millimeters thick, something like that. It doesn't need to be all that thick. There we go. Now it's attached to the rest of the letter, and so it won't just kind of float away on me. Um, it looks like it could work. Although, are my cookies going to be inside out or upside down? Backwards? Maybe. We'll see. All right, so that's one method for creating a cookie cutter method. One. There you go. All right, the second method here, it, it requires a few more skills. So you're going to need to be able to use the whole tool and the group tool, but um, it's not that much harder. It might even be easier if you know those. So I'm going to go down to symbols um, just because I want to make a, a star cookie cutter. It's a pretty easy one to make. So I'm going to press F to focus on the star. And let's, let's start by making it a lot bigger than it is, uh, something like that. All right, so I'm actually going to need three stars to make this happen. The first one's going to be very thin. Like that, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to make it uh, just a little bit smaller, like that. And then I'm going to actually just duplicate it again, because it'll automatically give me another smaller one. So right now I've got, I should have three stars, a small, a medium, and a large. So I'm going to turn the smallest one, is it the smallest one? I can't tell. Yeah, I guess it is. I'm going to turn the smallest one into a hole. The medium one, I'm going to lift up a little bit like this. I actually have to lift up the hole a bit too. And then I'm going to highlight all three of them just like this. And I can use the align tool to make sure to line them all up. So I'm going to line them up horizontally, line them up vertically. And then kind of like magic there, we've got almost a perfect cookie cutter once we cut this hole out. So this will work. I'm going to group them all together so you can see. There we go. This will work with uh, shapes that are not too complex. Um, I'm going to show you the next method here. So this was method number two. I guess I should just rename this. Um, I'm going to show you the next method here for making a cookie cutter. And um, it kind of combines both of these methods here. So let me show you what that one looks like. Okay, so this last method is if you want to do something more complex, um, you want it to uh, use a shape. I'm going to use um, one of my favorite shapes here. I'm going to go to the the shape or the the state generator. And we're gonna we're gonna get Florida. We're gonna make a Florida cookie cutter, or at least we're gonna try. Here's U.S. states right here, and then we're going to get Florida like that. Okay. Let's make our Florida bigger, and we can actually try this the same way we did uh, the star. But watch what happens when we do. So here, let's start with. Big old Florida like that. We'll shrink the height down to just one. Let's uh, duplicate it and make it smaller like that. So we have a smaller Florida. And then um, let's duplicate it again so we have an even smaller Florida. So here's my smallest Florida. That's going to be a hole. Here's my next smallest Florida. This one's going to have to grow like that, as tall as I want the cookie cutter to be. And this one has to cut out that, so I'm going to make that even taller. Uh, and then we just have my base one. So let's put all three of these together. Now, with a more complex shape like this, it's not going to go exactly the way we plan, but at least it'll give us a good start here. Okay, so if you look at this, it's way less than ideal for a cookie cutter. You can see that things don't quite match up the way that we want them to because this shape is a lot more complex. So I can slide this guy over a little bit um, like that. I'm going to get rid of this hole for the time being. 
and most of Florida looks like it might match up, it might work, but there's still big sections of Florida that don't. So basically with this method, you're going to kind of get as close as you can to making the cookie cutter, and then you're just going to fill in the rest. Let's see here. You're going to fill in the rest, and I'm, I'm going to try to... Um, this top part, since it's flat, that'll be the easiest to fill in. So let's see if we can try to save some of this piece here. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's stretch this down a little bit. There we go. So again, I'm, it's not going to be exact here. I'm going to be... Okay, so let's actually, we're going to turn this one into our hole. I'm going to group these together, and let's see what happens. Okay. So I've got kind of a rough outline of Florida here. Whoops, undo. I meant to change the color of this one. I've got kind of a rough outline of Florida here, which is certainly less than perfect, but it's going to help us to make our cookie cutter for sure. So I'm just going to bring it up like that. Now I'm going to go through and just kind of find where the holes got cut off. So there's one right here. Um, and all I'm going to do is just go back and fill these in. like so and one millimeter is really plenty thick yeah, i'm gonna make it shorter as well it's easier to do from here there we go all right so that's one whoops almost one that's one part of Florida fixed. And I'm kind of just going to go through and do this for all the gaps here. So let's even take this one, duplicate it. Let's bring it on over here. And just patch up Florida here. Let's zoom out so I can. There we go. And let's get another one of those. All right, so I'm going to go all the way around and just fill in these holes. There's a couple left. All right, I went through and I kind of finished up and plugged all these holes just with a, a thin box. I also went through and I added a box where I thought things might be too thin. Like up here, if it's too thin, the 3D printer, the software won't even recognize it. So it was really thin right there, so I just made the whole thing thicker with the box. Finally, I'm just going to go through and just kind of chop off the keys here because they're not going to print anyway, or they're not going to print well anyway, so we're just going to chop them off. Something like that. Bye bye keys, sorry, I'll miss you. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and group this whole thing together, and it should look a lot like Florida when we're all done. There we go. You can almost not even tell. So there's my Florida cookie cutter. That's method number three. So those are our three methods for designing cookie cutters. And totally up to you which one you want to try. Have fun.